Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are doing another declutter. Now we are decluttering my powder products. I have all the powder products in this little bin here. This is all the powder products that I currently own, so I don't have too many, which makes me very happy. I don't use a ton of powder products, so there's no point in having a ton. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this pretty quickly. I'm gonna pull them all out and then I'll set them on this little blanket here and then I'm gonna bring you guys back and we'll show you guys everything. I'll sort anything that I have duplicates of. So that there makes it a little bit easier to go to go through because if I have a duplicate of it, either I love it or it's something that I haven't used or you know what I mean. Sometimes we just have duplicates because we have duplicates. So let's get through this. I'll be right back with this all separated out of the basket. Okay guys, I have all the products out of the container now. I've matched up any of them that I have duplicates of. So we're gonna go through this pretty quickly. Like I said, this is not anything that's gonna take me a long time because I already kind of know what I like and what I don't like. So I know it works for me. So I'm going to start right here with this this one right here, which is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. This is the loose setting powder. This one here I really love because I like how it has this cap on here that helps to kind of contain everything so it doesn't make a giant mess. It smells absolutely amazing. It is one of my favorite setting powders. I cannot use this under my eyes. However, I feel like under my eyes it's a little too drying, but I am going to keep this for my face, so I love this. This is staying. The next one is one that I haven't played with enough to know whether or not I love it or not. So this is one that's kind of staying, but it's like, it's in that basket that, hey, you know, you might leave, but you might not. I don't know yet. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is a loose finishing powder. I've heard lots of people talk about how this is good for dry skin. I tried it out a couple times, and honestly, I don't know what I feel about it right now. I'm kind of feeling indifferent about it. So I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit longer. And if I don't use it, then it's going to be gone. The next one is this right here. This is Clinique. It's called the, what is this called? The Stay Matte Universal Blotting Powder. So first of all, I don't need to stay matte. I just need a setting powder. I don't need anything to keep me matte. So this one is going to be leaving my collection. It's just a small little size, which is fine. I have a lot of small little sizes you'll see here though, because I think it's easier and better to have small sizes sometimes. The next one is the Cover FX. This is the Translucent Light, and I think this is light as well. This is the illuminating light though. So one's illuminating and one is translucent. I'm gonna keep both of these because I love the Cover FX powders. I think they're really, really great for my dry skin. If you have dry skin and you're looking for a loose setting powder, both of these are really, really good. So holding on to those. The next one is with another one that's one of my favorites. This is the Too Faced. This is called the Primed and Poreless. It's a skin smoothing pressed powder. It reminds me a lot of the It Cosmetics, the uh, Bye Bye Pores powder. So there's what it looks like. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's been used definitely and abused. It's a very, very soft powder. I don't know why I swatched it with my thumb. That was really goofy. So I swatched it with my thumb, but you can see it's a very, very soft powder. Like when you put it on, it spreads out very evenly and loosely. Like you can see, it's almost like a loose press powder. It's really weird. So I love this powder though. So it's definitely saying. The next one is the Becca. This is the <laughs> Hydra Mist. This one here, everybody raved about on YouTube. I don't love it for my dry skin whatsoever. So it's actually going to leave my collection. When I use this on my dry skin, it makes my dry skin look even more emphasized. So this is something that is going to leave. The next one is a Little Cap on D. This is a Little Cap on D translucent setting powder. This is one that I had the full size of and then I have a small size of it. I never liked it when I had the full size. I don't know why I ended up keeping the small size because I don't love it either. So it's gone as well. These are two little deluxe sizes and one is called the YSL Souffle de Clot Finishing Veil. I don't think I've even tried this yet so I need to try it out because it's a great little sample size to try and see if I would like it in the full size so I'm going to try that one out. The next one is the Clé de Peau. This is a very expensive brand so I want to try this one out as well before I can decide whether or not I would be interested in purchasing the full size. So I'm going to keep both of those. They're just super tiny so they'll be easy to go through. The next thing is the Mali. This is the Mali uh, Everclear Poreless Face Defender. This is a mattifying, um, what, what does that say? It's a minimizer, whatever it is. It is really weird. It's like a jelly-like product, so you have to use a special sponge with it, which I don't know where I put my sponge at. It's probably ready for a bath. That's probably where it is. So it's a jelly-like cup. Um, oh my gosh, a jelly-like type of product. So it's really interesting. I don't think that I've ever tried anything like this. It's really cool. It does work for my dry skin, so I'm going to hold on to that. The next one is another one of my favorites. This is the Tarte Double Duty. This is the Confidence. This is actually a foundation, so it's actually in the wrong drawer. So I'm actually going to move this over to my foundation drawer because it's not a setting powder. 
The next one is the It Cosmetics. This is the Baba Redness. I don't notice that this really helps with my redness, I'll be honest. I don't see a big difference. Is this supposed to be a foundation? I have no idea. Transforming Neutral Beige. I have no idea if this is a foundation or not. But either way, I don't notice that it really helps with my redness much. But I think I'm gonna what, I, what I'm going to do is move this into a foundation drawer because that looks more like foundation to me. What do you guys think? I mean, it definitely covered my redness there too. Hmm. I'm going to move it into the foundation drawer because I think it's more of a foundation. I don't think it's a powder, a setting powder. The next thing is the a Cosmetics Baba Ba Pores Illumination. This one here definitely can give your skin some illumination if you are looking for something to kind of give you that glow from within. This is going to do it. I would not recommend putting this under your eyes because it has too much illumination in it. So I'm going to hold on to this one as well because I love it because it works for my dry skin. It gives my skin that illumination that I like. This is the Becca, this is the under eye brightening setting powder. This is my favorite setting powder for my under my eyes. I absolutely love this. If you have dry skin and you're looking for a good setting powder, this is the best, the best I've ever tried. I'll be honest. I think if I run out of all my others, this will be the only one that I would ever repurchase. This is my favorite. The next one is the Pretty Vulgar. We got this in our Boxy Charm. This is the Pretty Vulgar, the powder room. I'm mad about it. It doesn't keep your skin super matte, in my opinion. I have dry skin, so for me, it just kind of like sets everything down into place. I really like this. I like the container. I like the little poof that it comes with. The little poof is really cute. So actually, this is a really good one for me. I love this. So that's staying. The next two are the same exact things. One is for travel. The other one is for home. So this is the Laura Mercier. This is the translucent loose setting powder. This is another really, really good one for dry skin. If you have dry skin, this is a very, very good one. So I, ha I would recommend that you try that one out. The next one is one of my favorites. It's almost empty, as you can tell. I use it a lot. This is the It Cosmetics. This is the Baba Pores. This is the loose one. I usually use the pressed, but right now I'm using the loose, and I'm hoping to use this up soon because my goal is this year to use like $1,000 worth of makeup. So I think there's going to be gone soon. So no problem with that, and that's definitely staying. Then we have three from Bare Minerals. I don't really like these. I'll be honest. I'm not a huge Bare Minerals fan for their loose powders. All these are the exact same. These are all the hydrating and mineral veils. I don't love these. So these are all going to go out of my collection. Then we have the Tarte. This is the Tarte. What is this called? The Smooth Operator. This is really, really nice. And it definitely has a smoothing effect. So if you put a little bit of this on your fingertip and then apply that under your eye, it really does smooth your under eye. So I'm going to hold on to that one. Then we have the Jouet. This is the Jouet. I don't know what it's called, but it's a mess. I know that. Like, oh my gosh, it's always messy. This is called the Glisten Brightening Powder. It definitely gives your skin a brightening effect. So I'm going to hold on to this because I like that brightening effect onto my skin. I love it for my face, not for under my eyes. Then we have three from Besame. We have the red one, which is the Translucent. This is a brightening vanilla powder. Then we have the purple, which is a brightening violet powder. These are all translucent. And then we have the brightening vanilla and rose powder so all three of these are absolutely amazing i ended up ordering the full sizes on these which i haven't received yet so once i receive those i'm going to actually pass these along to my mom so i'm going to go ahead and put these in a container to pass along to her since i will have the full size so she can try these out as well because i think she's going to love them so i'm going to pass these small ones to her and i'll keep the big ones so these are the ones that i'm keeping right here Oh, and of course my blotting powder. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pass that blotting powder onto my mom as well, the blotting paper. So these are the ones I'm keeping. These are the ones I'm getting rid of. And then those two are getting moved to a different drawer. So I did pretty good. I got rid of, let's see, three, six, nine. I got rid of nine. And we're keeping two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 10, 12, 14, 16. So I got rid of... Mm, about half almost half not quite i got rid of nine i'm keeping 16 that's not too bad honestly so i'm not upset with those numbers whatsoever so i'm going to put my stuff back in the drawer and we are done with this part of my declutter so i'm happy i'm getting more things decluttered out of my collection for other people to try out or for just basically because i can't use them or they don't work for me so i would love to know if you're decluttering your collection as well let me know thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll catch you guys later